Hello and welcome to Sea Mongrel, a horror RPG set in an aquarium, which I have to admit is like, that's not a setting I think I've seen before for these horror games, so I'm interested. Let's go. Oh, they look entertained. What's up? I can't believe you forgot our second anniversary. But the I told you I didn't forget. You were the one that told me we didn't need some big celebration for our anniversaries. Oh boy, uh, these are a little slower than I was prepared for. Yeah, we didn't need some big celebration, but a little date to commemorate it would have been nice. Okay, and that's what we're having right now. Why are you making such a big fuss about it? Because this was obviously such a last minute thing. If I didn't even ask you what we were doing, I bet you would have just gone for your martial arts class. You say you love me, but sometimes you don't act like it. I do. Yeah, whatever. Oh, this is going well. A little trouble in paradise there, guys. A game by Kulu. With music by Tabby. And a background that doesn't loop correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sorry. I don't mean to nitpick. I'm just having a little fun. Alright, bye bus. Whoop. And here we are. Damn it. What? Pins and needles. What? His eyes are a little wonky on this portrait here. Walk it off. WSD, remember? I know how to walk, Kim. Yeah. But you always forget enter to open the menu. Um, this isn't the way to the aquarium. <laughs> I love these sprites, though. They're very cute. That's some weird tutorial dialogue, though. I gotta say. <laughs> Bag. All right, we have a band. We have a couple band-aids. Patches up a small boo-boo. A refreshing brand drink restores 50 stamina. How do I go back? Ah, there we go. Options. We don't need that. And party. Theo level one. And Kim level one. Okay. I wonder what engine this is made in. This is not RPG Maker, as far as I can tell. Oops. Picked up a band-aid. Gross! Dude, don't go around picking up band-aids off the ground. <laughs> Come on, man. Have a little self-respect. Sea Ecosystem Adventure. Okay. Uh, so... I have a complicated relationship with aquariums. I think some deep-sea animals are super cool. Others freak me the fuck out, and there's, like, very little rhyme or reason to it, so... In theory, I actually like visiting aquariums, and I can totally see them as a good date location. In practice, there will be displays I don't want to go anywhere near. It's so dumb. But, um, I'm weird like that. Okay. Let's talk to some people. Hey, what you got there? What? Just some spare drinks from today. You can have them. Just gotta throw them out anyway. Or whatever. Sweet! Are you serious? We're not beggars, Theo. What? Free drinks are free. You're so gross. I mean, the part where he walked up might be, but her just offering some free drinks and taking them? I don't see a problem with that at all. <laughs> Stacking drinks. I guess this is a, an item shop. Sorry, bud. We're all out. All right. So let's see what I got. Ah, uh, more soft drinks. Okay. Hello. Did you enjoy yourself, Zoe? I did, Mama. I got to see so many cool fishies. My favorite was the water worm. That's great, dear. Let's head home. Okay, Mama. Well, that's nice that they had a good day. Ouch. Got myself a nasty cut here. Y'all got a spare bandit roll that I can use? Oof, really could use a bandage roll right now, eh? Wait, so does it want me to use one? I can't. Okay, I thought maybe it was like a thing that we could give him. Dolphin. Jelly oh god, there's a jellyfish display. Of course there's a jellyfish display. They're like some of the creatures I hate the most. So... <laughs> uh, just my luck. Good evening. Two tickets for our lovely couple here. Do note, we're closing in about 30 minutes. 
enjoy your visit at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. In 30 minutes. Okay, this really was a last minute thing. <laughs> Look at her legs flailing around. <laughs> what did that guy put in the food today? My stomach is not agreeing with it at all. Just 10 more minutes, Brad. You can hold it. Alright, let's go. Let's go enjoy the aquarium for 30 fucking minutes. Oh, this doesn't look healthy for the fish. Largemouth bass are common river fish. They love to feed on smaller fishes like bait fish, which are abundant in rivers. Largemouth bass are opportunistic apex predators, commonly measuring at about 16 inches. So interesting. Fat fish. Oh, so she does care a little bit. Okay, she's not totally... <laughs> toy plush. A cute banana dog toy plush. Let's call her Mochi. Is that some kind of inside joke I'm not getting? Whoa, its mouth is huge. Probably why it's so fat. Just like you. Theo! It was just a joke. But it wasn't very funny. Jeez, we can't make jokes anymore? It wasn't even a joke, it was just rude. Yeah, Theo, I I'm on Kim's side on this one. What the fuck was that, buddy? I told you I don't like it when you joke about that. Fine. So Sorry, I guess? Alright, you two need to either fuck it out or break up. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Christ. Okay, let's read some more signs, I guess. When encountering a threat, a largemouth bass has four choices. Fight, guard, bag, and run. Oh, that sounds a lot like a tutorial. <laughs> Fighting allows the largemouth bass to choose a move to inflict damage onto the threat. Some of its attacks apply status effects like a chance of causing bleed or stun. Some moves are solely used to inflict status effects on the threat, but tend to have a lower accuracy. Largemouth bass depend highly on their stamina. All of their moves require stamina to carry out. If a largemouth bass has insufficient stamina, guarding will allow them to, re to regain a certain amount. Choosing to guard instead of attacking is a strategic decision that could benefit the largemouth bass in the long run. This doesn't sound like a bass at all. Well, what do we know? Yeah, I get what you're doing. You're trying to organically include tutorials. These are a little weird, even by this game's sense of humor. The largemouth bass has an option to bag, which allows it to use the items at the store. Different items have different effects. In times of extreme danger, the largemouth bass must use its most valuable item to ensure survival. However, items are limited, and the largemouth bass must choose wisely on which items it should use. Running is also not an option that the largemouth bass has. However, when pit up against a big threat, it is unlikely that the largemouth bass would even be able to escape. Bass with a bag? Okay, this definitely doesn't seem right. And since when were you a fish expert? It's saying a fish has a bag with items in it. Will you... <laughs> These two are quite the couple. I have lost my patience with them, like, immediately. Oh god, what is this? The Sea Habitat Aquarium is our largest tank here at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. It houses several types of marine life, like fishes and coral. All the marine life in the tank support one another, creating a miniature ecosystem within the tank. Sounds sick. Let's go check it out. Okay, so, so she is kind of into it, at least. That helps. Oi. This is huge. Should these all be in the same tank? <laughs> Whoa. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Look, sorry for not planning anything for our second anniversary. It's okay. All that matters is that we're together now. Yeah. Come on, let's see everything else before they close. Okay. Oh, they're trying to be a little nicer, I guess. Still. This doesn't re- Oops. What the- Huh? Did they close already? We weren't even here for 15 minutes yet. Maybe they forgot to tell us they were closing early. I guess we should get out of here. Fine. I'm sorry, Kim. What else can we do anyway? What's that sound? It sounds like someone's coming. Must be an employee coming to fetch us out or something. Oh, yeah, that's definitely what it is. <laughs> hey, dude, don't worry. We're just about to leave. Is everything okay? We're not looking for trouble. We didn't know you guys closed early today. 
A largemouth bass charges at the duo. What is Theo gonna do? He's gonna fight. Uh, jab this fucker, I guess. And you can whack it. <laughs> Just a slap. <laughs> Manic cry. Kim's attack fell. I do like that he gets an actual jab. Because uh, we established earlier that he practices martial arts. Holy shit, it was a critical hit. Largemouth bass is full. Holy shit. <laughs> Theo and Kim. Uh, Theo learned something new. Uppercut. What the hell was that? Theo? Say something. I I don't know. Is it a mascot or something? Its scales felt real when I punched it. And it attacked us. Yeah. Is it dead? I don't know. Let's just get out of here. Right now. Thought the same thing. This is reminding me a lot of like, um, last year I played a Game Boy style horror RPG where all the enemies were big bugs. I mean, it wasn't anywhere near like what this looks like in terms of um, graphics quality. Well, I mean, it was made to look like a Game Boy game. But uh, it does remind me of it a lot. Can we find something to defend it with? I don't feel very safe. I'm taking this fire axe, just in case. Just be careful with it, alright? I can handle myself, thank you very much. Sweet. We have an axe. Alright, I guess let's try to leave. A uh, slightly strange situation we find ourselves in. I don't think it's a good idea to go for towards where that thing came from. Right, I guess we'll try to get the fuck out of here. Why is it so jittery? Ah, uh, whatever. We got bathrooms. We should probably check those out. See if there's anything useful in them. There's a bag here. White glove. Wake up! Slaps them awake. Oh, I guess that's if one of them faints. We can use that. Alright. Oh, there's someone in here. Was. I think I mean Goss. Eep! Please don't hurt me. Hey, chill. We're just normal people. Oh, thank God. You okay? No, I'm not. Me and my sweet boyfriend just wanted to celebrate our first month -sary. Oh, fuck off. It was supposed to be a simple fun date to the aquarium. He even told me he had a surprise for me. Then the lights went out and we ran into this terrifying fish thing. Looks like we weren't the only ones. Well, where's your boyfriend now? We hid here for a while until he told me he was going to get help. For a while? It just happened. Oh, well, whatever. He should be coming back for me soon. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't, um, wouldn't hold my breath, lady. Patch up open wounds to stop bleeding. Okay. Do we have, like, a save option? Nope. I'll just have to hope it auto-saves. Another soft drink. We're getting a lot of items anyway, so... The tunnel tank is one of the longest tanks in the Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. It houses multiple marine life, from corals to small fishes, but it specializes in various species of sharks, such as the hammerhead shark. Should we really still be reading these signboards when we're potentially in danger of encountering evil mutant fishes? Maybe some of these could have information useful for us against them. Besides, we paid for the tickets. Might as well make them worth the price. <laughs> Look at you being practical! I think we're having a pretty priceless experience right now. That was actually my main concern when they got in here and were told there were like 30 minutes left. I'm like, that's that's a waste of money, man. Oh, we're definitely getting attacked by a shark now. Ah, yep, there we go. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Oh! Boy, oh boy. Oh god. Is that. It's too dark to see, but the smell gives it away. We have to get out of here, Theo. Yeah, he, he's not doing so hot. Well, this is a mild inconvenience. These are usually operated by some kind of control room or something. I like that he has his hands in his pockets the whole time. Being too oh, shit, it's dark in here. I don't love this. Okay, let's look around. 
This control panel looks like it could open up the shuttle door. It's missing a fuse, though. Because this is a horror game. So there's always a fuse missing. Always. First aid kit. Oh, shit. There could be items hidden behind things? Oh. Um. Oh, fuck me. This is really hard to read. Um, what the hell am I doing with my life? Why am I, of all these people, eating lunch alone in this room? Brad thinks he knows everything. Always targeting me. He knows I'm better than him. He's... What? He's intimidated. This this font is not good, man. You need to make this clearer to read. Seb, that goddamn pea brain. All he thinks about is his workout. Everyone knows intellect beats all. That Jen is so bloody annoying. She thinks she's got everyone at the tip of her fingers. Asking me to do her work for her. Sally is too kind. She's not going to go far in the real world. And that Demi. Her lack of interest in anything pisses me off. I was a goddamn scientist. Me and my mentor were so close to a breakthrough. If only we had more time. How the hell did I go from experimenting with chemicals to serving disgusting snacks and beverages? They'll all get what they deserve. Okay, this seems promising. Definitely nothing to worry about there. Big. Picked up a fuse. Anything else here? Nope. We seem to have everything. I like the lighting in here. This works really well. Alright, the fuse fits. The shuttle door should be open now. Let's go, Kim. Wait, Theo. There's a switch here for emergency lights. Would be nice to see you again. Flick it. Oh! Hi! <laughs> That's a hammerhead shark? Is it, though? I mean, look at its face. All right. Ooh, he cannot do that. All right. Guard. Same for you. Let's guard. Deep crunch. Ha! You missed. You dick. Let's try an uppercut. To inflict sleep, okay? What does swift swing do? High chance to inflict bleed. Let's just... Swim round. Ow. Boom! And it's knocked out! <laughs> so now we can just jab and whack at it. Yeah, take that, asshole. Let's just try the swift swing. I just want to see what it does. Dang! Okay, now it should kind of dive on its own, I hope. Alright, both of you guard, because we need some... Okay, it stopped bleeding, but it's still sleeping, so that's good. Which means I can spend another round guarding. Ah, fuck you. Alright, let's punch. I love the fact that I'm punching a shark in the face at the moment. And whacking it with whatever. Vital grip. Ooh, okay, that's not great. Let's maybe put it to sleep and use a band aid on Kim. Oh, they were not at max health at the beginning? Okay, interesting. Yes, there we go. Theo and Kim gained experience. Theo learned something new. And Kim learned something new. Did we just beat up a shark? Yeah. Let's go, Kim. You know, you're allowed to think you're being a badass, because you are being a badass. Alright, let's use a soft drink on Theo. 
Uh, toy I don't know what a toy plus plush does. Like, all right, let's just uh, now we're ready for the next fight. Whenever that happens. Deep, deep down below the depths of the ocean floor is one of the most mysterious and undiscovered parts of the ocean. It houses several unexplainable marine creatures, some of which have evolved into terrifying ways to adapt to the conditions of the deep sea. However, there is beauty in the deep dark sea as well. The jellyfish, being 95% made out of water, illuminate the depths with their bright colors. Jellyfish don't have brains, lungs or hearts. Most only live for a few hours. Here in Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park, we house multiple jellyfish of varying colors. Watch them swim in their individual pillar tanks. For a closer look at their anatomy, we have constructed egg yolk jellyfish statues ten times their original size. No way they're actually called egg yolk jellyfish. All part of a nutri- Don't, don't even joke. Yeah, I'm sure you can tell I don't like jellyfish. I mean, I'm fine in this game because they're like pixely and dumb. But I, I, mm, I really, really don't like jellyfish at all. Hello, lady. What exactly are you doing there? Ugh. I actually remember I was in San Francisco years ago. And there is a, um, there is a, a an aquarium down by the pier. Or at least there was at the time. And I went there. And of course, going through it, there is a room that has like a giant jellyfish tank. Like right smack dab in the middle of the room. Like you can't avoid it in any way. And I actually had to like put up my hoodie and look down at the floor to get through that <laughs> to get through that room. Because <laughs> there was like a huge fucking jellyfish in it. Ah, uh, I hate it. Alright, let's talk to her. Oh thank goodness. You work here, right? Oh dear, are you both okay? Yes, we're okay, but don't worry, you're going to be fine. Please, just tell us to how to get out of here. Maybe like an emergency exit or something? Well, the building seems to be in lockdown. The other exits are shut. The only way out would be the entrance where it came in. We're doomed then. Now, now. We're at the end of the park building right now. Beyond the deep dark sea is the last exhibit. The touch pools. The past, past that is the merch store and you'll be back in the lobby. Come on, Kim. Just a little bit more. We'll make it out of here, I promise. Okay. Lady, come with us. It's dangerous here. Don't worry about me, dear. I'll be fine. I'll stay here and wait for any other guests. You two go on ahead. Take care, ma'am. We'll see you outside. You two, take care of each other. Oh, she's not gonna survive. It's very noble of her, but she's not gonna survive. Right, that's the door. It's locked. Well, shit, do you have a key? Uh, nope. Okay. Shut up. So, where is there another exit? I don't see one. Oh, down here. Copper feel of our various marine animals, like the manta rays and horseshoe crabs. Please be gentle when handling the marine life. Remember, they're not toys to play with. Please do not litter in the touch pools. It affects the marine life when you throw that trash into their ecosystem. The audacity of people throwing trash into the homes of these animals. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the mood to empathize with these animals right now. Come on, Theo. Just because some of the aquatic life try to kill you doesn't mean they're all bad. <laughs> you know, you're right, but uh, who cares in this situation? I'm kidding. Let's get out of here, Theo. Okay. Well, they seem empty. Well, there's a couple starfish and a manta ray. We have bathrooms again. We should check those out. Locked. Okay. Oh, there's someone in here. Is that the boyfriend from earlier? Got a soft drink. Just wanted to skip out on a lame field trip and now the power's out. Nope, this is some kid. Talk about bad luck, eh? And if you got a cig, you got a lighter, but got nothing to use it for. Smoking isn't cool, dude. It's my life, ain't it's my life, ain't it? Fire extinguisher. Hold on. Okay, I guess there is a burn effect. We'll figure it out. So that was locked. Can't go there. Uh Oh, he wanted me to inspect. Wait, can we actually touch these? Right now? This seems like a bad time, but... A disposable taser? God, you get a lot of... Okay. Received a first aid kit. Oh! 
So if we inspect all the two smelling salts. Oh, the manta ray and the horseshoe crab are in love. Wonder what a mana crab would look like. Nope. Don't even start, dude. Oh, hold on. Oh, I thought I saw. Okay. So this is what they mean by trash in the Okay, that's pretty that's actually kinda cool. Whoa. I don't think I was supposed to walk there. Wait, this isn't a fish. Cigarette stick. God, this is a lot of items. A thrown away cigarette stick still can be used. Are we actually going to give that guy that cigarette? Maybe he gives us something we can use. Check it out in a few. To what? Uh, I didn't really see what I got. Whatever. Yuck. I don't understand why people would want to feel these slimy fishes. Maybe the fishes are attacking them and they have no choice but to fight back. Yeah, when is that ever going to happen, right? I'm glad you're seeing the humor in the situation, Yuzu. <laughs> Alright. Let's give this guy the cigarette. Radical. Well, don't really need this lighter anymore. Y'all can have it. We don't smoke. Wait. You can try this with your axe. Oh, wait. Did we just learn to set fire to the fucking axe? I don't think that's how it works, but that's awesome. <laughs> Locked. Alright. Another shuttle door. Looks like this one needs an employee access card. Maybe we could ask that lady for hers. Oh boy. Oh boy. She's not gonna be alive when we get back. She's gone. Ha! Ah! Yep, I knew it. I fucking knew- Ew! Ew! Ew, I hate it. Ew! Uh, moderate chance to inflict stun. Now we're gonna uppercut and try to put it to sleep. Fire slash. High chance to inflict burn. Uh, high chance to inflict bleed. Let's try to inflict bleed. Sleeping sting. No. Don't. Fuck. Oh. That was nice. Okay, it's bleeding. Oh, this thing is disgusting. Well, it's not asleep, so that sucks. Um, low kick. We can try to stun it. I don't have an awful lot of band-aids, though. Should be a little careful. Aim to miss. Purposely miss the target and confuse them. Let's try to do burn, too. Oh. Engulfed in flames. Okay, that's cool. Now it's stunned and bleeding. I guess now we can jab at it for a bit. Uh, you definitely need some... Oh, crap. Okay, now I'm gonna have to heal her. Chance to inflict bleed. Just whack him. No, oh, Kim. Okay, it has stopped bleeding. That sucks. I don't think jellyfish can bleed, but on the other hand, this thing has a human face, so. Still burning and stunned, so we're just gonna keep trying to see if we can apply bleed again. What was that? Okay, cool. It's still stunned and shit, so I, I'm just gonna keep whacking at it. Burning sting. Ow. Okay. Oh! We got him! <laughs> okay. Fake out. And pumped up. 
Seems like we level up after each fight. What the hell? Was that a thing above us the entire time? Wait. Where did the lady go? Oh no. Oh no. She must have dropped this. Let's go, Kim. There we go. Yeah, that sucks. I don't like that. That was... I mean, I knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew something was going to happen the instant we went for that bag. But it's, it was still pretty effective. Not going to lie. Cool little scare. I liked it. Still can't go in there, huh? Okay. Speaking of... Let's just use these real quick so we're ready. Oh, my bad. There we go. Wonder how many enemies we're gonna have to fight. We fought three things. We're in the merch shop and we'll be back in the lobby in a second. The bass plushie is actually kind of cute. Sucks that I'm pretty much traumatized by any fish by now. We could use it for exposure therapy. <laughs> okay, that's actually a good joke. <laughs> Under different circumstances, I really would have liked to buy a seal plushie. Well, we can just take one now. $50 for a plushie? No way, Theo. Capitalism. You could just steal one. In this situation, I wouldn't really blame you, honestly. Like... Ooh, what's this? A little break room? Just back here. A bag! Alright. It's empty. There's a picture. Okay. I, I guess these two are the people responsible for all this shit. It's empty. Wait, it's a key to the toilet? Why does this person have it in the locker? Oh, that's disgusting. All right. It's empty. Well, let's go see what that's all about. There's definitely not going to be some freaky fucking monster in there. locked. This key from the locker should work. Awesome. Well, he seems friendly. Leatherback sea turtle. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. She's still burning. Um, okay. So let's see if we can put this thing to sleep. Okay. Boom! Nope. I was not that lucky. Damn it. Uh, psych. Cause the target to flinch and lowers their attack and defense. Yes. Pumped up. Intensely raises her attack and speed. Let's do that. <laughs> that was a cute sprite. I like that. Okay. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Manic cry. Theo's attack fell. Let's see if we can stun it. Get a swift swing in. Holy shit, it was a critical hit! But it didn't start bleeding, which is a problem. It is now, however, stunned. I'm gonna keep trying to put it to sleep. Aimed miss, confuse, high chance to inflict burn. I'm gonna try to make it bleed again. Damn, it will not bleed. I'm assuming the shell has something to do with that. Oh, crap. Okay, we're doing fine. Uh. Aimed miss. We'll try to inflict burn. Yes! Okay. Swim round. Ha <laughs> ha! You missed! Alright, fuck you. We need a guarding round here. Oh, you really enjoy doing that, huh? Yes! Now it's bleeding. Okay. 
Ah, really? Oh, crap. All right, we need to fake it out again. Come on, man. I finally got you to bleed. Damn it. <laughs> ah, that sucks. Okay. So, let's uppercut again. Let's pump up. I will say, uh, oh, shit. One problem we have right now with this game is that this battle music is not very exciting. I get you're going for more of a, a spooky mood, but still, this is... Mm. Motherfucker, this thing is tough. Well, you just do not want Kim to uh, have a chance, huh? Whoops. I, okay. Well, I'm gonna need a lot of to pump myself up and and try to make it bleed some more. Yes. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I love the animation there. <laughs> it's so funny. And it's dead. Thank God. Theo and Kim get... Oh. Combat combo. And crazy cuts. Ooh, that's a lot of items in there. Let's grab them. Smelling salt. First aid kit. Smelling salt. First aid kit. And a soft drink. I think this room is basically like an optional bonus room. Like, all right. You do your thing, buddy. All right, I'm gonna get both of them patched, patched up so we're ready to fucking fight whatever comes up next. Here we go. Because according to the lady, we have like one boss left or something. That turtle was a tough customer, though. Can't lie. Okay, the exit is up there. The lobby! We made it back! Come on, let's get out of here, Theo. Oh, it's not gonna be that easy. Ooh, first person view. God, this nightmare's finally over. Ah, uh, don't count your chickens yet. I'm gonna take a good long bath to get rid of this fish smell. Yeah. What's up, Kim? Let's go. Don't you feel watched? What? We're so close, Kim. Let's just get out of here and leave this behind us. We can't leave this behind us if it follows us out of here, Theo. It's the statue. Whoa! Are we fighting a dol- Ah! <laughs> a dolphin! Goodbye! <laughs> okay, I guess we're fighting a dolphin. Combat combo. A powerful combat attack that punches and kicks, dealing high damage, moderate chance to inflict stun or sleep. Let's just try it. Crazy cuts. Uh, moderate chance to inflict bleed or stun. Pump up first. It's such a funny animation. I love it. Alright. Go on, Theo. Mm, 10. Not too bad. And stunned. And knocked out. I ain't complaining. That's for damn sure. Just jab at it. Just trying to make this fucker bleed. She went nuts with that axe. Yeah! Low kick. Just keep jabbing. We'll try to burn it too. Oh boy. I was not knocked out anymore. That sucks. But now it's on fire! <laughs> eh. <laughs> right in the nose! 
Get fucked, buddy. All right, fake out while it's awake. Ah, uh, I think we could. Let's just whack it. Oh, that hurt. Okay, this thing hits fucking hard. Um. Exciting spell. Revives to 50% HP. Yes. What? Oh, because he's not knocked out. Right. Wake the fuck up, dude. Alright. Uh, first aid kit. Okay. Wacky dance. Whatever that means. Alright, fake it out. And I can't use crazy cuts, so I need to guard. Ow. Poison? And burn? Holy shit! Okay. This kind of sucks. I don't have anything that heals poison, though. But okay, we gotta stop the bleeding. I'll just have to use crazy cuts. We need to do a lot of damage to this thing in a hurry. Okay, we got it. Woo! Ah, almost no experience after that, huh? Uh, now it's over. Let's go, Kim. Right behind you, Theo. Nah, let's go another round. <laughs> no, I'm out. I'm out. Fuck this. Hey, the bus! Hurry, Theo, let's go! I'm sure the bus will be happy to take us all covered in fish smell and blood and guts. Been one of us on fire at the moment. I know you said we didn't need a big celebration for our anniversaries. But you have to admit, that was a pretty big date. Considering we almost died multiple times, I guess it was a pretty big date. I'm lucky to have you, Kim. I know, Theo. Me too. You both stink of fish, though. Oh, here come the, uh, <laughs> here come the crit. That was fun. Um, it's very simple. Very simplistic right now, which I totally get. I, I bet you made this fairly quickly. Um, I love the idea. I love the setting. Theo and like these two, uh, what would we call it, bickering, can be pretty funny. It's a little over the top every now and then. Um, the main problems I have are the battle music is not very exciting. And that's actually kind of it. It was pretty fun other than that for a simple little quick fighting ocean life game. I kind of love that they don't bother trying to figure out what the hell is happening there or stopping it anyway. Like in all of these games, you know, it would usually end up with, oh, we gotta find out what's happening here and stop it for good. And we'd get all the lore and we'd fight the scientists that caused it and everything. Nah, not this time. These are just two regular ass people and all they want is to get the hell out of there. So they do. I kind of love that. That's hilarious. Right. Sea Mongrel. Cool little game. I had fun. Thanks for watching.